Right, so here's the world beater, Hamzat Shimaev, wicked relevant in two divisions. Every time he sees you, he tries to take you down. <laughs> Gotta think he's gonna try to wrestle here tonight. That's exactly what he does, right? He wants to impose himself on his opponents. He wants to show his dominance when he's inside the octagon, whether it's on the ground in the grappling, as we saw in Kevin Holland, or whether it's him striking, as we have seen in the beginning of his UFC career. He has all the skills, but it's the mindset of Hamza Chimaev that thinks separates him from most fighters in both weight classes that he competes in. And with respect to Conor McGregor and everybody else, I'm not sure that any athlete has ever taken this sport by storm quite the way Chimaev did back in 2020. Let's see how he fares in another big spot tonight. Hamza Chimaev ready to battle and take home that elusive UFC goal. Introductions. We go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> third man in the octagon right. tonight. Good. All right, Hamza Shumayev is back. At Taking for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Both fighters back to their feet now. High impact takedown for Hamza Shumayev early, and clearly he's taking the path of least resistance tonight. I watch Hamza Shumayev, and I'm always amazed and his ability to not only get takedowns, but get them so easily. And it seems like it takes so little effort to get the fight to the ground. He will tell you what he's gonna do, and he is constantly doing exactly that. He passes the half. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Just because he got taken down doesn't mean he ain't gonna punch. He lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. Oh, interesting there as he just decides to let him back up. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Oh, that kick to the body is there again. It's been there all night. Combination landed by Hamza Chimai. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook, he's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to 
get out of here. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Maybe start to lead with punches before he throws kicks. A lot of his kicks are just kicks. They're just set up to throw it. Just out of range with the big right hand. Another big kick now. Shemayev gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. They continue to exchange. All right, mixing up the leg kicks nicely, and that thigh starting to show some visible signs of bruising now. You know, you can't even worry about what that high leg kick does now. You have to worry about the dividends that it will pay as we go forward in this fight. Nice shot there by the champ. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Quick level change. Oh! What a fantastic takedown. Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> Final seconds here of round one. And now he's got the back. Oh. Four seconds for the end of round oh. one. All right, sit down, sit down, sit down. You gotta take this next round back, okay? I just want you to think about striking. That's it. No wrestling, no jujitsu. Just striking. You can't handle Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? Ready. Second yeah. round underway. All right, there it is again, a path of least resistance approach from Hamzat Shimaev, who was able to get the fight to the floor. The angles that Shimaev gets when he gets to his opponent's legs is why nobody can defend takedowns. He overwhelms them with pressure, but he also gives them things that they don't see every day inside the gym. He gets to the double, cuts his angle, gets a takedown, and it only gets worse from there. Arms in deep, good arm bar attempt here. What he's got to do now is just be very to try to finish this fight. Oh, he's out! He actually escaped. Look, I gotta stop writing these dudes' obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. Oh, look at the fight. He's not gonna quit on this. It looks like he's trying to get this arm triangle. All he's gotta do is get to the side and get his chest picked out by the champ there. Slide back up. Jeff, these submission setups aren't that bad, but he keeps getting denied. Yeah, because he's not panicking. He's taking his time. He knows what to do whenever something is coming in his direction. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and... Nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind-up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is willing to take tonight this fight. Well, no denying that he walked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Shemayev's eyes closing up now, not good for him. Now he's going full mount. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass. His body's all the to the opposite side. Drop his chip. And oh! So what a win for him here tonight. He gets it done and gets it done by way of submission. He told us this week, I gotta keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. 
He said that he held the advantage there, and that would show itself in the fight. He proved that, and he gets a submission victory. Amazing. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 53 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke and new UFC middleweight champion of the world, Hobbs and Bars What a tremendous performance. Granted, a lot of people felt like he might win by submission, but these are high-level fighters that Chimaev continues to dust. Yeah, he's dominating. I mean, he's taking guys, world-class guys, and making them look at...